one of the uh, highly anticipated games of the season it is. The Manchester Derby Pep Guardiola's side can move six points clear at the top of the table while Ralph Rangnick gets his first taste of the rivalry. For more now, pleased to say we can cross live to our reporter Ben Ransom, who's inside the Etihad for us. So, Ben, a lot of talk about counter-attacking threat of United, but that perhaps has been dampened by the fact they could be without some key attacking players, couldn't they, through injury? Yeah, it does appear that way. We're waiting for confirmation that there definitely won't be Cristiano Ronaldo. He wasn't pictured at the team hotel last night. Also potentially missing Rafael Varane, Luke Shaw and Edinson Cavani. So when the United bus arrives, we'll get absolute confirmation on those absentees. Potentially could change the complexion of the game. Well, I'm joined by a man who knows exactly what this game means, the Manchester derby, Michael Richards. Mucky, you played in so many of these matches. What does it mean to the blue half of the city? It means absolutely everything. I mean, I think um, it's a little bit different for, for, for me when we was coming through. We want the side that you are today. Um, just played in a derby. It was just the emotion that goes. You can't sleep before the night, um, before the game. The fans really, I was saying, if there's any game we can win, it's the derby. Obviously, fast forward now. Big states, you know, Man City are going for leagues and they're getting better every single season. So um, I think for, for the new Man City, just relax. Don't, you know, get the game be too, too overwhelming and just play stuff because, you know, the quality is there. They, they're they a better team, as they've shown over the last couple of seasons, but they just need to show that on the day. Talk us back through some of your favourite derby memories. I mean, oh, you know which one? The sixth one, obviously. The, <laughs> the, the man of the match performance, marauding down this right hand side, the right hand wing. But yeah, it's it's great. I've been some some awful ones. I was involved in the the four three when Michael Owen scored last minute. It was actually my man as well. So I've had some highs, I've had some lows, but it's great, great days. These are these are the games that you look forward to. When the calendar comes out, you're thinking the derby. Um, so hopefully we'll get a good spectacle today. Tell us how the dynamic changed, because I remember I was a radio reporter back then. I remember the 4-3. I remember the 6-1 as well. I remember the games before it. Sean Gota popping up with the old goal here and there. The complexion of this match has changed so much, hasn't it? Yeah, I think um, in terms of the last 10 years where Man City have come from and, and where they, they want to go has just been a, a, astonishing. Um, while trying to integrate youth and, and buying, bringing new players into the group, um, we're still having the, the family feel, and I think that was always I I important to do. So a lot of the old staff from I've been, you know, here since I was 14, and seeing the old staff still here, it, it's great. But you know, it's just I think there's one more trophy that they need to get, you know, and uh, the Champions League. It's been difficult, you know, winning five Premier Leagues over the last 10 years has just been outstanding. Never in the, in the wildest dreams at the time would you think we could do that. But we've still got that Champions League to get and that'll just be the, the icing on the cake. What did you make of what Ralph Rangnick said about Manchester United needing to almost emulate Manchester City and find that ethos, that philosophy? Well, of course I do. I mean, I mean it's, not a, it's not a disrespectful thing. There was times when, you know, Man United were winning absolutely everything and, and, and we looked to, to them and see what they, you know, that, what they were doing. They had some great players. They had an unbelievable manager in Sir Alex Ferguson. So there's, there's times where you have to look over there and say, they, they were brilliant. Now, you know, roles are reversed. They're looking over here and what's gone wrong. I've seen stats in the last, since 2012-13, both spent over a billion pounds. And if you look at where Man City have, have been, and where Man United are, it's, you know, Man City have had that structure in place. And, you know, I think a lot of people talk about Man City spending money, but it's what you do with that money. And, you know, it's been here for everyone to see. I think the, the standard of football has just got better and better. And it's largely down to Pep at the helm of that. We're waiting for absolute confirmation of team news. But suggestion is Cristiano Ronaldo will be absent today. How much of a loss is that for United? Probably helps uh, the way they would have played on the, on the counter-attack. <laughs> but no, I'm a massive um, Ronaldo fan. I think, you know, he's come under a little bit of criticism over the last 10 games. Uh, the, the goals have not been flying in but he's a, he's a quality player. And, and games like this, even in a moment, you know, um, 
be a massive loss for Man United not having him there. But you know what I'm going to say, it's good for Man City. Just finally, the title race. How are you feeling about it right now? Because look, three weeks ago, City was sitting 14 points clear. It all looked rosy in the garden. Liverpool have narrowed that gap, narrowed that gap. What does that do to this game? Um, it's, it's, it makes it massive, obviously. Um, you have to be honest, you've got to give Liverpool credit. Uh, I don't think there was that great against West Ham yesterday, in all honesty, but they're, they're getting over the line. They win the, the, the League Cup, you know, do well in the FA Cup. They've got some real correlated Diaz, looks a really good sign in Yotta. Um, so, if you're being honest about the situation, you, you have to say, you know, Liverpool are a top team, but I think Man City, if they, if they focus on themselves and do what they need to do, they'll be fine. Final chance for a prediction now. Will you give us one? I'm going to go 2-0 City. There we go. <laughs> Didn't think we'd get a prediction <laughs> out of not? Micah Richards. Why not? Why not? There we go. 2-0 for City. Thank you very much, Micah. Look, it's going to be a fascinating game, isn't it? But let's not forget that record that United have here in recent games, in particular in the Premier League. They've won four of the last six. Guardiola will be hoping that doesn't happen for them today.